In this video, I'm going to show you how to enter a question for the Royal College Surgical Foundations exam. So the first thing is you would log into the developer portal and from this drop down menu you would choose Royal College Surgical Foundations exam and then click, the, click on the green new question button and the template will appear right here. Now before I get into the template uh, I just wanted to quickly um, talk about the tabs in the top right. The first, quest the first tab is a My Questions tab and if you click on that it will take you to this screen which shows you the questions that you've entered and which questions uh, the editor has reviewed and need revision, which questions that you submitted that have been approved, and which questions have been paid. So that's what that shows. The next tab is a Documents tab and if you click on that it takes you to this page which is a long list of documents that we've uploaded that help you uh, create your questions. Uh, so far um, right down here you'll see the Royal College Surgical Foundations exam. We've uploaded one document and we plan to upload, upload several more. Uh, the next tab is the instructional videos tab and if you click on that uh, there's instructional videos that walk you through how to use the templates. And then the password tab is just for you to change your password and then the contact us tab is if you want to contact us if you have any questions or comments. Alright so now let's go through the template. So here's a template and it's very uh, user friendly and self explanatory. So the very first thing that you would do when you're creating a question is choose a subject. So uh, I'm just gonna choose orthopedic surgery. Once you choose a subject it'll bring you a, a drop-down menu of topics. Now we've pre-entered some topics in here that uh, we feel we need questions about but if you uh, want to enter your own topic you can do that by just clicking on enter your topic and then just type in the topic name so I'm going to type in Achilles tendon injury okay so then now you get to the opening stem this is this field now you have a choice. You can either type it in right here. 25 year old man comes to the clinic. Or what you can do is you can type it out in a separate Word file and then copy and paste. Uh, it's your uh, preference. I've, I've typed it out in a separate Word file and I'm going to copy and paste it um, into the uh, template. Now when you copy and paste, be sure to click on this uh, button right here. It's the paste as plain text button. And if you click on that, it'll bring up the screen and you can just copy um, and paste your uh, text. And then click on OK on the bottom of the screen. And that's it. It copies and pastes it. And you can justify it by clicking on this uh, um, icon and then you've entered your opening stem. Now we have uh, each question will need four answer options so I will just really quickly copy those in um, A, B, C or D or 1, 2, 3, 4 depending on how it's presented on the day of the exam and then the last one those are the four answer choices And then uh, the next uh, field is choosing the correct answer. Now of these four that I entered, uh, A is the correct answer, so I just choose that. And then, find, and then the next one, the next field is explanation. Explanation is broken up into two boxes. The first box is to um, explain why the correct answer is uh, what it is. So I've ri written that out here. So I'm just going to copy and paste that. And remember you're using that paste as plain text icon, which is the, the one right here. If you hover over it, it'll say paste as plain text. And then once I paste it, I'll justify it just to pretty it up a little bit. 
like that. Now the next box is incorrect answers. Which answer choices were incorrect and why? I wrote why the other answer choices were incorrect. Uh, if you recall, choice A was correct, but why are choice B, C, and D incorrect? So I did that. I'll copy and paste that. And then I'll pretty this up a little bit, make a space there, justify the text, remove any extra spaces. Okay, and then this next section, we're almost done actually, is what we call cue point. What we want here is just describe the key educational point that this multi multiple choice question is trying to teach. It just, just two sentences is enough. Make sure it's educational as opposed to just restating the question. So I just wrote a couple sentences about what the key point is to this question. And I'll just copy and paste that there. And that pretty much completes the question. And I'll just uh, justify the text. The very last thing is the reference. If you use a reference just included here, author, name, so for example, uh, author of textbook, whatever, um, uh, Lee uh, Smith, uh, name of textbook, I don't know, sports injuries perhaps, um, or some surgical book since this uh, is about the surgery. These questions are more about surgery. Year of publication, 2008, let's say pages cited, pages you know, 25 to 45. And that's really all we're looking for. If you use an article or a journal, same thing. You can just copy and paste the, the reference here. And that's it. And then just click on Save Question. And that will save the question. When the question is saved, it submits it and it will be in this uh, submitted for review uh, section right here and that's really it once you submit the question it will go to the editor the editor will review it if the question is completely fine it will be approved and added to the website if the question needs revision it will be sent back to you and you'll be able to find the question in this needs revision section and then uh, once the questions are approved, uh, they're paid and they will appear here. And um, as always, at any time, if you have any questions or comments, please contact us by clicking on Contact Us in the top right corner.